make sure it works for everyone and have a good, healthy, kind relationship. I'm on a journey to create the greatest movie experience in the world. While I'm carving out my filmmaking entrepreneurial path, I want to help you create yours. Let's make some movies. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three sources for getting copyright free music on a budget for your movies. Coming up. Hello everyone, James Martin here, helping filmmakers to make great movies and to help your career to succeed. Today I'm talking about how to get free, copyright free music for your movies. It's so difficult and a huge pain in the butt trying to find the right music for our project and especially on a budget. Because I mean, you could spend money and bring in a composer, the thing is it will cost you some money and that's assuming they have a composer that has their own computer and technical equipment so that they can produce their own music without even bringing in an arranger or a whole orchestra, band, choir, etc. to make your movies. Today it's all about free resources. Now keep in mind that doesn't necessarily mean that all the music in it is going to fit your movie. You got to do a little bit of research and really investigate to see if it's the right type of music to fit your project. So let's get started. First place we're going to check out is just a place that it's all free music but I really want you to just keep in mind that just because it's free doesn't necessarily mean it's good music. But again, you got to investigate and find out if it's the right fit for you. And that first website is called Incompetech.com. So w this website is all music that you can just download once. You can use it for as many projects as you want. The website does ask that you name and give credit to the musician. Fair enough, because it's free music, right? You don't have to sign any agreements. It's just that you download it boom, you're good to go. There's hundreds of different options. You categorize it by your styles and which ones that you prefer, and then you're good to go. Keep in mind, I personally don't like using the music from this website because the music's kind of tacky, but it may fit your project, who knows? So investigate, make sure this is a good fit for you. The second recommendation is audiojungle.com. Now, here's the thing. Normally, you'd have to go into this website and purchase music, which to be honest, it's not exactly a huge investment. Music can be anywhere from $10 US to perhaps $25 US and if you're getting a pack it'll obviously cost you a bit more. And if you download it you have to use it once, it can't just be used in multiple projects. However, one great benefit to this website is that once a month it gives out one free item from all its categories like audio jungle, graphics, websites, photos, videos, all kinds of things. And the videos are more of like After Effects projects. So if you're an After Effects user, great, huge benefit. But it does give you a free music track once a month. And it's usually corporate, inspiring. Sometimes there's cinematics or trailer-like music, but try it for yourself. If you don't end up using the free music, I do recommend the website Audio Jungle, period, because there's thousands of different options, thousands. You can just go in there, create your own little playlist and start collecting music over time. Maybe after a while you start spending quite some time just investigating music. You can even download a preview version of every single track, which means it's going to have a watermark. There's going to be a voice in the background that says Audio Jungle from time to time. But this is a great way to test it out by putting it into your rough cut or your final cut just to use it as a temp track to see which music works best. And if it works best, you can just buy it, but at least you know ahead of time. The third option that I really highly recommend you do, and also be very careful with how you approach this, collaborate with a musician. Do you have any idea how many thousands and thousands of musicians there are in Canada? Like tons. And they're all after the same thing. They're trying to grow. They're trying to get paid to do gigs. They're trying to sell their music. They're trying to do tons of different things. Get exposure, get recognized. So this is an awesome opportunity and I keep even recommending to musicians that this is something they should be looking for. Here's how you're going to approach this. Go to a musician, check out their music, make sure they're a good fit for you first of all, right? Not every musician is going to be a good fit for the style and tone and the message of your movie. Go up to them, check out their music, maybe even download a few tracks of iTunes. You can just sort of help them out that way and then go up to them ask them if they'd be interested in working on your project and delivering X number of music or doing a song, maybe a few, up to them. You're, what you're going to do is you're going to give them a credit in the movie under a very 
specific titles, give them a free copy of the movie, give them tickets to any of your premieres, including festival premieres. You're also going to allow them to have their own rights to sell the music. What this means is even though the music is in your movie, you're going to create a contract that allows you to use the music in your movie but they get to sell it on their behalf. This means that they get to make money from the music, but because you have a movie, you're also going to make money from your movie as well and send it to festivals. You can even go a bit further and just ask, listen, can I use any of your music in the movie? Maybe they don't have to write a song customized for your movie. Utilize one of their own existing pieces of music. Just make sure it's an original song, not a cover. Because a cover is, well, a cover off someone else's pieces of music or a song. You can even use it in promos and trailers and behind the scenes and all kinds of stuff. Even give them an interview just to allow them to share their thoughts and their information on how they came out with that song and what story they were trying to tell, right? So that's an awesome way to collaborate with a musician and just make sure it works for everyone and have a good, healthy, kind relationship. So there you have it. I just shared three resources on how to get free copyright free music if this helped you out please like the video subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload i do post every single week including my new filmmaker react videos hilarious brilliant i want you to go check them out and i want to know your thoughts what's your favorite resource for getting copyright free music let me know in the comments because your response could also help other people as well so good luck i hope these tips helped you out Good luck and I'll see you next time.